Alright, so the Triple Kenpachi banner is returning tomorrow and we are just gonna do a quick overview about the banner, the raids, the characters and what they can do and stuff like that. So first of all, these are gonna be the filler characters, Spirits, Jushiro, Shunsui and Yama. And after that, Kedfir, Halibel, Tokinada and Yami. We have a good selection of characters here in the filler pool and in fact the banner is really really good in my opinion. The main characters are still top tier up there and Jushiro and Shunsui is still valuable to have and Yama is still good in brave battles. After that, Tokinada, I mean he's kinda a little bit old, right? But he still has his usage, definitely he can auto most of the content in the game, that is not inheritance trials. Epic rate is really really good, guild quest is really really good. Good, you know, he's just visually impressive as a unit, so I can understand why you want this character if you don't have him before, or maybe like duped out or stuff like that. Haliba, really good artwork, and the character model in general looks really good. She kinda is like mediocre nowadays, and uh, she definitely has her problems, but other than that, you know, she's like whatever, I guess, good, okay, especially if you have her 5 5. Yami, not really, I'm gonna be honest, Yami is not really that good. He kinda likes the damage, he's you know, he's he's not that impressive, you know. After that, we have the main characters, you know, in the banner. Power can patch, it hits like a truck, bro. Like, the damage that this guy can do is fantastic, and the AoE abilities that he has is just like, you know, like up top tier, 1%, up top, top tier character on the power attribute. After that, we have Azashiro. Looks really good, you know, gameplay wise. He definitely has his problems, especially because, like, the first and the second ability of his is not that really good, you know, but, like, the skills that he has is really good overall, and he definitely has his main usage in the game, being sometimes in arena. You know, whenever the season buffs are offering something for him because he has all status immunity dodge against arankars and hollows 50 percent uh that definitely can be a little bit annoying in arena after that you can nuke guild quest with him arranged arankar guild quest one percent uh but you need like a high dupe level and good strong characters you know on the side stuff like that overall in pv really good character yeah definitely not a 10 out of 10 one but like in 8 8.5 uh definitely up there Kuryashiki mainly mainly used in brave battles to be honest he has the good skills and stuff like that, but like unfortunately he's he's really just like a brave battle character. Uh, sometimes in epic raids you can find value in him or like altering easier contents in the game, but like manually using it, uh, you kind of need to break the guard most of the time, right? After that, Jushiro is still really really good even up to this day. Fantastic drain on everything, you know, life steal. After that, you have multi barrier ranged character, super safe to use. He can auto most of the things, even sometimes inheritance trials. You have Shunsu, Shunsu really really good kit wise and he does a lot of damage thanks to the third charge attack that he has. He has a following vortex without the additional AoE ability, you know, when activating the attack, you know, it's just gonna follow the enemies, he doesn't have an explosion instantly. Right after that, weakening on everything, potion unit, really good to have overall, especially if you're lacking a mind potion character. Yama overall, as the, it's, it's kinda like the same thing as Kuriyashiki, really good character but like mostly in brave battles if you know what I mean. Or like epic raids. Other than that guys, these are gonna be the raids for the characters. And overall, I would suggest doing around like 5 or 10 steps depending how much orbs do you have. If you can afford it and if you're looking forward to summon for these characters. If you don't care about them, definitely don't summon anything. It's not a must summon banner or anything like that. But overall, your orbs are definitely way more worth to summon here than like the mid mod premium banner or a specific rerun banner that doesn't really have the value as like this banner has. So if you like the banner, if you want to summon, definitely a nice 5 or 10 steps, not gonna hurt your back, but make sure to save some orbs as well for the end of the month, pool selection, stuff like that. So if you can afford it and you want to summon for these characters, go for it bro and good luck. I personally still don't know if I'm gonna go down to zero tomorrow or I'm just gonna do like 2 steps, you know, I really don't know. I have been like summoning for Azashiro most of the times, but only just a little bit, you know, whenever he's coming back and I still want to get him, you know. Like, and uh, this is kind of like a nice chance, you know, because I don't have highly duped out Shinsu, uh, Yama, or Jushiro, or anything like that. The only character that I have 5 5 on this banner is Tokinada. So, yeah, definitely a good chance. Maybe I'm going down to zero tomorrow. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna stream the summons tomorrow morning, one hour before the banner gets released into the game. Guys, if you're deciding to summon, good luck. If you're skipping it, good. No worries about that, bro. Thank you for watching. Have a great day, slash night, wherever you are. Hopefully, I will see you the next one. Bye bye.